Well, leaders from two federal agencies made a special journey to Middle Georgia this week, and as we see in tonight's On the Farm, it had dual yet equally important purposes. Daniel Blackman, regional administrator with the Environmental Protection Agency, joined Georgia's Farm Service Agency's executive director, Arthur Tripp, on an educational mission at Fort Valley State University, one that extended well beyond students on campus. We're uh, responsible for uh, executing the president and the administrator's plans as it relates to air, water, and land. So think environmental protection. We also all have an emergency response division that deals with uh, responding to hurricanes, tornadoes, floods. So anything that deals with the environment, public health, and safety as it relates to that, to our mission statement, that's what we do. That's what most people think of when they hear EPA. While it's true, Blackman says the EPA does much more, and part of its mission right now helping farmers know the resources available to them. Our focus being at Fort Valley is to make sure that we're looking at every single opportunity through the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and the Inflation Reduction Act that allows us to utilize federal funds that directly impact underserved communities and populations, specifically in rural and underserved areas. One of those includes urban agriculture. In doing so, Blackman says farmers should think of the EPA as a partner in promoting best practices in the field. We heard from several farmers that want to work closely with EPA. They want to understand how to be better partners, but more than anything else, they want to make sure that they have succession planning in place. Blackman says the agency also advocates for farmers to ensure that their land is protected, their water is protected. We even have an enforcement component at EPA that helps to make sure that those individuals that are facing any types of environmental justice or external civil rights challenges, we're actually focusing on prioritizing those issues and being available to respond to their concerns. Blackman and Tripp met with farmers and students while on the Fort Valley campus. Because our young people don't really have a strong connection of what we found to where their food comes from. And so the more that we can do to bridge that gap, uh, the more successful we'll be. And that's why Tripp says visits like this one are important to start cultivating ag's next generation. You know, I was reading a stat the other day that within the next 10 years, nearly 50% of our producers will reach retirement age. So we have to ensure that we're bringing more people into the field of agriculture. We've got to do a better job of telling the story of agriculture uh, so that we can continue to produce and feed our communities. After the meeting, both Blackman and Tripp toured a middle Georgia farm, something the FSA executive director says is vitally important. When we can go to a producer's operation, uh, they can preview to us their successes, their challenges, so that we can fix some things, we can work on some things. You know, we're building a bench. We want the future to be um, consistent and we know that in order for us to build a better future for areas like this part of the state of Georgia, we've got to make sure that they are fully aware of what those programs, those jobs, those internships and those careers look like in the foreseeable future. Um, we're not here to check a box. We believe that this generation, that these students are the future. A trip to invest in both the future of agriculture and its next generation of leaders. Georgia Organics kicked off its 2023 conference and expo this morning at the Georgia National Fairgrounds in Perry. The two day event offers something for everyone interested in all aspects of organic farming. The event attracts people from all over the state to middle Georgia, and this year's kickoff is especially exciting since it's the first time resuming the conference in two years due to the pandemic. Well, growing organic should be important to everybody who cares about the future of food in the entire world. When we take good care of our soil and our planet, that is investing in the future of food for everybody, for our children, for our family, for our friends. If you missed it today, the conference will be running tomorrow, once again at the Georgia National Fairgrounds in Perry. Well, it definitely